Welcome to G-Ball Vision, everyone. We are talking about some knives that bring a huge smile to my face. And the reason for this video is I got this knife out the other day and I just found myself smiling from ear to ear. Uh, this is the Boker XXL Kalashnikov, over 10 inches long. I think it comes around 10 and a quarter inches long. Clip point blade. It's got a coating coming in D2 steel, G10 handles. This thing is absolutely massive. Is it ideal? No, uh, but it is definitely awesome. Side opening, automatic, over 10 inches long. Uh, it just it brings a huge smile to my face. And, you know, I love bigger knives, overbuilt knives. Those are typically the knives that, you know, kind of get me excited, bring a smile to my face, and this is definitely in that category. The other awesome thing about this knife and all the other Boker autos is they are not very expensive. Uh, you know, they typically range between like 50 and 70 bucks which is you know for the smaller ones they have a little bit more punch when it comes to the spring the springs you know it comes out pretty good considering the blade is over four inches long but it does the reason it comes out good but it doesn't have quite enough at the very end to lock it out sometimes which you know that kind of is what it is as long as you push the button and release right away it usually locks out but i never plan on using this in any type of situation where i would need to worry about it being locked out this isn't going to be you know a hard use knife or a tactical knife for that matter it's more of just a a cool knife to have let's go ahead and we'll get to the next one Next up, coming in over 9 inches long, this is the Renegade Provisions Co. Gungnir. And what's not to smile about when holding this knife? Massive Warncliffe blade coming in M390. Hollow ground, slicey as all hell. Flipper tab and fuller for deployment. Detent is tuned to perfection basically uh with this knife it is a bolster lock so it is nice and clean you have no issues with locking yourself out uh this knife just brings a huge smile to my face titanium backspacer black micarta inlays titanium bolsters of course action is absolutely incredible and let's just put this in perspective here that is nine and a quarter this knife is over 10 inches so look at that thing that is just this is a big knife but the the xxl kalashnikov is an absolute monster and this is the knife that made me fall in love with renegade provisions co then he put out the gom and that is also a fantastic knife but you know, typically when you see massive knives like this, they're not in a sheep's foot blade. So that is just something else that just really makes me love this knife even more and definitely brings a huge smile to my face. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. Next up, coming in at almost 9 inches, we have the Artisan Cutlery Proponent. This is a Dirk Pinkerton design. Massive D2 blade. Yeah, D2. And then they also have some premium S35VN versions. This is a nice Warncliffe blade. Uh, this knife is one that I really beat on when I first got it. For weeks and weeks, I beat on this knife. And it is absolutely in still pristine condition. Uh, the blade finish has held up exceptionally well you have these massive thumb studs and flipper tab detent is tuned pretty damn good and i bet i'd be willing to bet the newer budget ones you know this is a year or two old i bet the new updated ones have an even better build quality uh the detent for the thumb studs is 
tuned perfectly. It's it's very stout. For some reason, the flipper tab, it don't feel like the thumb studs, but still rockets out of there. It, it's just probably how heavy, how big that blade is as to why it feels like that. The push button, it feels good. Eh, I mean, it feels good. It feels good, but... There's just something about this knife, you know, this big handle, massive Warncliffe blade, uh, just brings a massive smile to my face, anodized pivot collar, you have a lower mounted clip, three massive standoffs there, I believe this is reversible, yep, reversible pocket clip, this thing is just an absolute monster. And where it, it's not quite as long as maybe the Gungnir is, it, it's a little more brute in the handle and blade. You know, this is more of like a bead-on knife where this is more of like a, a slicing beast. And this is kind of like a beater beast. Uh, but... Both fantastic knives in their own right. This thing has a massive blade stock on it. Liner lock, good access with a chamfer, good action. And these are usually 50, 60 bucks, somewhere in there. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. Next up, we have the Kaiser Sheepdog XL. This bad boy is coming in 154 cm. You have that sheep's foot, cleaver style blade. This thing comes down pretty damn thin, I have to say. Uh, it's pretty slicey. If you need to slice a ton of cardboard, uh, this would be a great knife to choose to do so. You have nice thick micarta handles over top of these thick steel liners, anodized pivot collar. You have a deep carry pocket clip. Not going to be reversible on this guy. You do have good access to the liner. Not a chamfer, but does it need it? Eh, I like to have a chamfer. Doesn't need it, but it's something I would like to have. Detent is tuned fantastic for the flipper tab. I think you can, yeah, you can flick this out with the reverse flick, maybe. Yeah, you can, but the detent is so stout that for some reason I thought, yeah, if you get low enough on the blade, you can thumb flick it out. But the detent is so stout that it's hard to do that. It, it's a flipper only. You could m have some holes milled into it or cut into it if you wanted, uh, and it, they would work fantastic. I yeah, I was going to say, I could have swore I used to, probably not the safest thing in the world, but yeah, you can thumb flick this guy out without the holes, but this was one of the first massive folders that I ever bought, uh, the Kaiser Sheepdog XL. Uh, it was on sale at the time when I got it, 154 CM, massive chunk of 154 uh, I've always liked 154, and I got this on a steal of a deal, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, you know, it's never seen a bunch of pocket time uh, or a bunch of use, but I, I have carried it, and I have used it. Uh, it's kind of more of a novelty, but it will definitely get the job done if you need to, to do some cutting and maybe some beating on uh, some material this will definitely stand up to that. Let's go ahead and check out another one Coming in at eight and three quarters of an inch the Vero Synapse XL Brings a massive smile to my face and it's not necessarily because of how big this knife is it's it's a good size but the reason it brings a smile to my face is because it is a bigger knife and it has the most premium materials that you could ask for. And it's built to grade A spec, which is just something I absolutely love. And the size 
combined with the materials and the build this thing just brings an absolute smile to my face it's so comfortable drop point blade is so useful in m390 this one has a nice stone wash on it you have a cutout and a rear flipper tab for deployment this is a titanium bolster lock this one has natural micarta which is beautiful look at that compared to kaiser's just a night and day difference uh these these are so the micarta on these is so well done access to that bolster lock is fantastic nice big chamfer on that bad boy that is how it's done right there uh vero knows what he's doing he's a great designer and best tech can definitely build some good knives the synapse xl brings a huge smile to my face you have a titanium clip there let's go ahead and check out the next one next up coming in at almost nine inches we have the spartan harsey this thing brings a massive smile to my face usa made uh william harsey is the designer spartan blades is the oem s45 vn you have this awesome dlc coating on there dual thumb studs for deployment titanium slabs there look how thick those handles are this thing is overbuilt to a t uh, it is on washers and mine has broken in just beautifully look how smooth that bad boy is drop to your thumb give it just a couple easy shakes and this bad boy is going home titanium pocket clip this is the 2021 special edition the fur tree one and uh to date this is my favorite looking harsey now there's some really cool ones uh don't get me wrong but there's just something about this version and the fur tree it just reminds me of good times uh winter I don't know. It just reminds me of good times. That it is what it is. Uh, but this thing would be, or this thing is an awesome, perfect EDC knife. Comfortable as hell. And this thing will be able to withstand anything that you could throw at it. Massive titanium lock bar there. Uh, on washers, like I said. And this could double as... You know, not only an EDC and work knife, but you could definitely use this as a tactical knife as well for self-defense just because of that piercing drop point tip there. Definitely love the Spartan Harsey. One of my favorite knives of all time and brings a huge smile to my face. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. Next up, one of my pride and joys the original og emp edc nimble no this knife is not big uh this knife brings a smile to my face for a different reason uh this is the knife that kind of started it all for me as far as emp edc is concerned and my love for emp edc uh since this knife it has gone out of control basically <laughs> But uh, this knife, anytime I get this knife out, it brings a huge smile to my face. It is so well done. Uh, QSP is the OEM behind the Nimble series, and they just absolutely knock these out of the park. If you know, no one ever said this is QSP. You wouldn't know if this was Riot, Best Tech, uh, because these are so, so well done. Uh, everything from the blade, the edge, the fit and the finish, the detent, the ergos, the softened edges, uh, everything about it is so, so extremely well done. And they, they've only gotten better as time has went on, but... There's something about this knife, this exact one here, that 
just I take care of this knife I don't beat on this I don't use it unnecessarily I do carry it and I do use it but I don't put it in any situations where you know I could ruin this knife because I I absolutely love this thing and I would hate for anything to happen to it it is still in pristine condition you can see some wear on the clip there just from carrying it so often but or as much as i have but uh the blade the dlc is held up extremely well the dlc frag handles has held up very well uh you can see some light lighting or lightening in the blue but that's just the anodizing kind of getting used getting a patina to it but other than that this thing has held up extremely well number 55 uh, and there wasn't many of these made uh, this version or many of the version twos in general but uh, definitely brings a huge smile to my face just this is one of or the best secondary knife in my opinion ever uh, just perfect ergos great blade shape nice and pokey and pointy nice and low uh plenty of uh, edge there to get whatever done you would need to get done and then the action is just second to none so so incredible that little blade able to thwack out of there and then just go to your finger and close still perfectly centered there's no skips in there uh this is all standard original and there i will never change this one it is fantastic absolutely love this one give me a thumbs up guys and let me know down in the comments what knives make you smile what knives make you laugh uh what knives just remind you of a better time for instance and if you're new here or you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button down below i'd love to have you here otherwise guys i'm going to throw up two new videos here and here definitely want to go check this one out otherwise i'll catch you on the next one